I mean, our sport was sort of just born out of nothing. We were one day, we were just looking to get a quick adrenaline rush, and we didn't really know where to, like, where we could go. We didn't have much to work with. So, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, our sport was birthed. We pretty much just play with our surroundings. It's just, it's like, it's like a leisurely stroll to the extreme. Yeah, man, totally. Like, I mean, one time, one day you're walking and something's in in front of you. What do you do instead of going around it? You go over it while trying to stay level and grounded. It's pretty miraculous stuff, man. Leveling basically re requires a level head, both literally and figuratively. Um, you gotta keep your cool. Often these obstacles are pretty overwhelming. Um, yeah, sometimes you just gotta maintain your composure and just keep a level head. Sometimes you see the perfect staircase and you just know, oh, I gotta do some trespassing if I wanna hit this. So right now I'm just gonna hop this fence and I'm gonna get the level. I mean, like when you're a kid, you go to the playground to play around, right? So we finally grew up and we can't just go to the playground anymore. So we decided to become one with our urban playground. We just go out there and we just test ourselves to the extreme. Sometimes it looks a little big and you don't know if you can level it. All of a sudden, you're leveling it, you're sending it. That's our life motto, pretty much. Obviously, uh, leveling doesn't come without its injuries, uh, but again, it's just like uh, it's just like any other sport. Only the strong survive. People hear urban playground. Oh, we're running around in the streets. They immediately think parkour. No, parkour is using all your muscles. It's like, oh, I'm strong, so I can do this. No, leveling requires the isolation of specific muscles. I mean. It's not like you're some gymnast dude running around trying to do flips over stuff. It's like you're it's just you working your working your quads trying to stay level while moving over stuff. It's the most graceful thing that you could ever do. I mean, it's like and now there's this new thing called planking, like let's go lay on stuff that's kinda dangerous. You just look like a monkey. No man. It's like you're laying, why not do it in motion? I choose to wear sunglasses when I level. It's like it's additional weight to the face area, but it compensates for the uh, the UV rays. You can't let those ultraviolet rays get in the way of your level. Leveling, it's an all-season sport. I mean, obviously, summer, fall, spring. You just go the great outdoors. Just go challenge the wilderness. See what it has in store. But then winter comes. All of a sudden, you're throat deep in snow, you can't really level. So I set up an uh, off-season track in my basement just to stay in shape over the winter months. Having an off-season track, man, it's just prime meridian because we could hit that thing every day, just rip it up. We got no fellow levelers trying to scratch our line up. Leveling, it's like any other sport, you know? Everyone has their own unique style. I mean, there's the, there's the tight pants, go for aerodynamics, that's what I'm like, I'm kind of like a get the level, get out, like who cares about the style, who cares about how you get the level done, it's just all about getting the level. Yeah, and then there's me, who I like to throw in a little bit of my own personal flavor and show the people what I'm like as a person, I like to dress a little bit more gangster, and I mean, parents don't always like it, but it's just who I am as a leveler, and that's just part of the sport. I mean, any leveler deals with that challenge, like, leveling's an outsider sport. If your girlfriend's parents find out her boyfriend's a leveler, it's gonna be a bad first impression. You know, it's like, it's like skateboarding, like, oh no, he's a skateboarder, he's bad news. Same thing, it's like, levelers are bad news, according to society. I mean, even though we're gonna have those people that are gonna try to hate on us, trying to beak us and put us down, man, 
we're still going to do exactly what we love and we're going to go out there every day and just level because that's what we do is we level. I mean, anyone can do it. Like, any anyone can join this sport. Every neighborhood has a plank or a, a bench or a staircase to level. Yeah. I mean, there could there could be an apocalypse and then you could be leveling all the rubble. Yeah, I mean, like, imagine the levels of a leveling place.